The Easter Bunny left a surprise in my yard. <laughs> no, it's not last year's eggs. It's this week's Easter edition of Hard Boiled News on In Case You Missed It. I bet you didn't know this, but the National Confectioners Association reports that Easter is the second biggest candy eating holiday after Halloween. Really? Yeah. Did you know that, Keith? No. Well, it is. Makes sense. It is also far and away the biggest holiday for eating egg salad sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> A lot of stuff. See, you're learning some stuff hey, here tonight. This is such an educational show. That's what it's all about. Yeah. We might as well be public television. That's what we are. <laughs> In 2021, Americans ate a record $36.9 billion worth of Easter candy. Wow. wow. And with inflation, they expect this year's numbers to be even bigger. Is there now, a reported shortage of jelly beans this year? I, I went to two different Places you haven't found it. I couldn't. All I could find was the little tiny ones, and I wanted well, the regular size. Trey got there before you, and he bought them all. That's, <laughs> I, that's what the deal. Thinking was. it might have gone the way of toilet paper. That could have. <laughs> uh, I hope people do know the difference between <laughs> jelly beans and toilet paper. There is a big difference Very between. Much. Don't confuse those. Now, after eating that much candy, I think we're all going to be bigger. Both candy prices and waistlines are experiencing hyperinflation. Easter egg hunts are a, kind of a weird tradition, if you think about it. I mean, you buy a lot of candy, then you hide it in your backyard. I mean, that sounds like the worst diet plan ever, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then you send your kids out to find the candy that you just hid, and then you steal it back when they're asleep. Uh -huh. Or is that just me? I don't know. I think you hit a nerve. I think I have. <laughs> well, at least it teaches kids a very valuable lesson that it's okay to eat the things that you pick up out of your yard. I hadn't thought about it. Yeah. That's what you learn. That's exactly what you learn. Well, sadly, not everyone uses Easter candy for peaceful purposes. In Brandon, Manitoba, a store clerk confronted the shoplifter who struck him with a chocolate bunny and fled. Now, don't think the clerk was some kind of marshmallow. No, not at all. I said, don't think the clerk was some kind of marshmallow. Trey and I got it. That, Thank you. I was with you. No, it was a Mr. Solid brand, Solid Chocolate Bunny. That's a hefty weapon. Huh. The guy got caught and was charged with assault, although police admitted they'd never heard of anyone using a chocolate bunny as a weapon before. Uh, they do suspect that he was hopped up on something. Oh! Thank you. But they couldn't confirm, as the shoplifter wouldn't make a peep, Wow. <laughs> Look, I think this may call for a ban on chocolate assault bunnies. I mean, uh, we should yeah. just not have them anymore. Agreed. Well, I mean, you gotta have a permit. Well, have. absolutely. And we can't have crooks pointing chocolate bunnies at people and saying, hand over your wallet or I'll give you diabetes. You just can't do it. <laughs> the British newspaper, The Mirror, talked to a man whose grandfather's dog is all right, but its name is a menace. Uh, you see, he named the dog after an Egyptian deity. The dog got loose at a train station, and the grandfather ran down the crowded platform after it, yelling, Isis! Isis! Ooh. Isis! Ooh. Not a good idea. That was Panic. the dog's Panic. name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the grandson had to run after him, assuring people that it wasn't a terrorist attack. It was just a dog. You know, even with free speech, you can't yell Isis in a crowded train station. No. By the way, it's why I had to rename my old dog. His name was Fire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they're a little slow out here tonight, yeah. but I think they're... Yeah. Finally, here, and that's the word they were looking for, right? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally, here's an actual cute dog. Alaskan Dorian Davis has a dog named Diamond that figured out how to annoy the family into letting her in. She scratches on the door, and if they don't answer immediately, she rings the doorbell with her paw. There you go. If they still don't answer, she rings the doorbell over and over and over and over. Now, it was really cute the first time. They th they're thinking about renaming their dog. They're going to name her Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> 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 
All right, before our jokes Woo! lay any more eggs, we're going to hop on out of here. But until next time, always remember that we read the news. So you don't have to. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, then subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. Now, if you didn't like it, you ought to find a Ben Shapiro video to detox you with more facts. <laughs>